Okay, let's do one now in radians. If they give you a problem in radians, the conditions are going to be changed, of course, because they need to match what unit that the problem was originally given in. So we want our answers to be in, in radians for each of these. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plot the point. Now 3 pi over 4 is between pi over 2 and pi, so that would be right here. So this is going to be my angle 3 pi over 4. I'm going to count four spaces along that line there. That represents the R value of 4. And my point ends up in the second quadrant. So I just need to make sure that when I do part A, B, and C that I still end up in the uh, second quadrant at the same spot. Uh, and when I do this first problem here, it's saying that my R needs to be greater than zero. Now my R that was originally given that problem is already greater than zero. So, I have, so I'll just keep that as a four. Now you have a choice here to either add or subtract uh, two pi. Whenever we're not, if we're not changing the R, we need to use two pi. If we are gonna change the sign of the R, then we have to use pi. So we have to choose to either add or subtract uh, two pi to that angle there, three pi over four. Okay, now the condition is gonna tell you whether you wanna add or subtract. I want my result to be a negative angle, which means that I'm gonna choose to subtract uh, two pi. Okay, subtracting two pi because I wanna be sure that I get a negative angle as a result. Now when I do that, I get four, and if I get common denominators here, multiply that by four over four, I get three pi minus eight pi, that's gonna be uh, negative five pi over the common denominator, which is gonna be uh, four. So let's see if this actually makes sense. I can either go around this way, three pi over four to here, or I can go around the negative version this way, clockwise uh, is negative angle, that would be negative five pi over four. So yes, we still will arrive at the same spot uh, as the original point. Okay, let's look at the next one. The next one, my angle needs to be positive, but my R has to be less than zero. Now, in this case, I do have to change the sign of the R. It was positive four, and I wanna make it negative four. If I'm making it negative four, that means that I have to use 180. I can either add or subtract 180 this time because I wanna make that from a positive four to a negative four. So uh, we need to take our three pi over four, and it's our choice whether to add or subtract uh, pi. Now if I subtract pi, I'll get a negative angle, so I want to add pi uh, to this one. So when I do that, I get negative 4, and common denominators, 3 pi over 4 plus 4 pi over 4 will give you 7 pi over 4. Okay, so let's see if this one makes sense. Now if I go 7 pi over 4, that's going to take me all the way around here into this quadrant. I'll draw a dotted line there. Um, because I have a negative R value, and then I would reverse it 180 degrees in the other direction, and then I would count that out here, and my answer would end up there uh, in the second quadrant. So this is going to be the, uh, uh, the correct answer because it does allow me to arrive at the same spot. It does meet these conditions also. Your R is less than zero, it's negative, and seven pi over four is between zero and two pi. For the part C, the same point here, we need to make the R positive, so it already is, and 3 pi over 4 is my initial starting angle. Uh, you, you have a choice, if we're not changing the sign of the R, which is the case here, you want to either add or subtract 2 pi, and I definitely want to add 2 pi because my answer needs to be more than 2 pi there, so I'm going to add 2 pi uh, to this, and when I do, um, the answer, I'll be assured to get an angle between 2 pi and 4 pi because already I'm at 2 pi here, I'm adding 3 pi over four more. So again, what I would do is I would multiply top and bottom by four for common denominators. Uh, and then by doing that, I get three pi over four plus eight pi over four, that's 11 pi over four if I add those together with common denominators. Now, of course, you could also do the whole problem in degrees if you wanted to. You could just change this over into degrees, then use uh, adding and subtracting 360 or adding and subtracting 180, whatever Whatever way, um, just make sure your answer gets changed back into radians if you're gonna do that because these here say specifically we want our answers written in terms of radians.